सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम वी आर ऑन यू एच वी थ्री वी डिड द फर्स्ट फोर चैप्टर्स फॉर लेक्चर्स इन मॉड्यूल वन एंड देन वी वेंट ऑन टू द प्रैक्टिकल एक्सरसाइज एक्सरसाइज वन ऑब्जर्विंग द सेल्फ बाय द सेल्फ एंड वी वर ऑन स्टेप वन to look at the imagination to try to see the feeling the thought and the expectation separately in the imagination particularly the feeling and try to do this as often as possible we want to be able to do it every moment so with that we had talked of some assignment with it or something to reflect on that when you do this you will notice whether your attention or your imagination stays on one topic or it moves from topic to topic some of you already described that we also wanted to ask you how long do you think you are able to pay attention to the imagination and how often you are not paying attention approximately if you can sort of tell us about that and when your attention shifts to somewhere else are you directing yourself to shift your imagination to some other topic or is, does it seem to be just going on its own without your conscious awareness so all this um, we had asked you to reflect on several times yesterday and we said we'll share these observations today and then we'll move on to lecture 5 didi namaste didi namaste sabhi ko namaste didi i just want to make a point few interesting observations of my exploration mhm mm didi i think this is the fourth time i am doing this exercise mhm mm only this time i am able to know the importance of observing the imagination previously mm -hmm. also also i was thinking that i was observing my imagination but only this time only i am able to uh, really see yes i am observing the imagination i am able to see the significance of observing my imagination didi and mm -hmm. now for the past 4 months i am regularly doing this exercise of observing my imagination depending upon the time maybe for 10 15 minutes etc today i could see that i was able to observe for 30 minutes right. and then and there i could see that i was drifting but one important observation on doubt also didi didi now we are going for lack so the last 20 minutes i was imagining how to carry out the things today at times i was with the opinion yes imaginations were going on and i am observing but at the end of the 30 minutes i had a doubt also am i or was i flowing with those thoughts i don't know how to distinguish divi because today i felt something awesome it was going so smoothly i also felt that i got energized yesterday i can carry out all these things so the energy also i got some creative ideas also came up in my i'm sorry came up in my thoughts so today i felt my observation was something different something so significant to me but i am having a doubt didi was i flowing with those thoughts or, or 
I was observing how to distinguish these two, Didi. Yeah. Eventually, you have to see that yourself, which you know when you are flowing with the thought and when you are observing, because when you are observing, you are very aware of each thought as it is coming up. But if you lose your awareness, that means for some minutes or for whatever time, some time, you won't be aware that you are. thinking about this you will be flowing with that means at some point when you are flowing you will recall that oh you needed to be aware so you come back to awareness so when you come back you are sure that i had drifted that's why i need to come back but if that's not happening and you are able to continuously see what is going on then you are observing but then if for some time in between uh you don't recall and then later on you are recalling that i was thinking about this that and the other then during that time you may have drifted into the imagination then i can say the the, the last 20 minutes yes i was observed mm-hmm. yes Very is good. it is it so didi that the, when we are observing creative ideas will come that is why i am having a doubt didi because uh, is it true that if we are really observing will be getting some creative ideas how to carry out things it is possible but it is also possible to get some creative idea when you are thinking of something i wouldn't put it as exclusive certainly it is possible but as you keep observing it will become very clear to you whether it's really observing or somewhere you slipped and fell into the stream and you're flowing with it then you come back up and out the more subtle thoughts will become visible and eventually we'll be able to see exactly where we slipped and where we came back up and those durations will become less and less this uh, this today i felt something very good about my observation so that is why i got doubt didi i was feeling yeah, good when you, when you are observing even if the thoughts are conflicting it will not disturb you normally if you are flowing with the thoughts and there are conflicting thoughts you get disturbed but if you are observing from the pure observer then even if there are conflicting thoughts you are just able to observe the thoughts without getting involved in them without getting disturbed by them that is certainly there so i was not having conflicting thoughts but today i felt something different didi well you will so, keep observing you will be able to get the mm-hmm. you know what so that is why i had uh, didi okay. okay okay thank you so much didi let me keep observing didi yes. thanks a lot and that's it from my side didi thank you thank you i um, had one doubt didi just asked about whether i am observing myself or it is So it is clear the doubt that I had. Another thing that I observed today only, Didi. I woke up early today and I sat for about fifteen fifteen minutes earlier, and then I was at the search to open my eyes, and then I again because I had time, so I again sat for five six minutes later on. So in the first fifteen to twenty minutes, when I was just observing my thoughts so i could i don't know whether i was doing it or it was there on its own but in all the thoughts in all the interactions i was able to see the feeling associated with that interaction with that thought very nice know. yeah it is i don't know whether it is 
because i am constantly thinking of this that i have to observe the feeling whether it is because of this or but i was able to see the feelings behind all the interactions all the thoughts that i had very nice and in the second second time when i closed my eyes really for 5 6 minutes i was just blank mm-hmm. i don't know there was nothing i was just blank sitting for 5 6 minutes no thoughts then i opened my eyes that okay i don't know why this happened that there are no thoughts now <laughs> is it okay didi yeah it's okay just keep observing you may mm-hmm. notice sometimes there are very subtle thoughts we tend to notice the gross thoughts very quickly the subtler thoughts we may not notice them that is also a possibility yeah so they may be there but we may not be aware of them because they are very subtle they are not disturbing yeah. so and do not bother one more thing to be that i am always aware like for the past three or four days i am noticing that i am always aware of whatever is going on and because of maybe i don't know because of this morning session but i have this awareness in me many times during the day what i am doing what is the you know all those things i keep on thinking those things come to me so is it also natural yeah see when we say we are aware lot of times we begin with awareness of whatever we are doing outside so we may become aware that now i am closing the tap now i am turning off the light now i am walking down the steps things like that and that is fine too because lot of times we are not aware of that also we are lost in our own imagination and we are not aware of what is happening outside but beyond that what we are trying to do is to observe what is going on in the imagination at that time you see not just outside but inside what is going on and it is possible for us to observe the outside and the inside as we do the exercise it will become more clear and as we do the practice more important than anything it will become easier because lot of times we have doubts when we are not sure no and as we do the practice it becomes very clear that yes this is what it is then there is no space for doubt then we are quite sure that yes i can see it very clearly so that phase will also come but till it does we can keep the observation going and like i said even if we are observing what we are doing outside theek hai observe that also okay and also try to see what is going on inside the imagination both but largely right now our focus is on the inside so we are trying to see what is going on in the imagination and with that you will become aware of the outside also uh, namaste ji namaste to all my co explorers uh didi uh, yesterday uh, i was experienced a very uh, strange situation uh, even though i uh, try to observe my feelings i am unable to observe and uh, my uh, i was forced to flow into my thought process that is uh, how were you forced uh, to flow in the yeah thought? yeah that uh, situation if i tell uh, 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 you can give some understanding for me uh, that is yesterday evening i was a uh, little bit uh, late stayed back in the uh, college and uh, i decided to time to go to home uh, around 6:30 i started and uh, i thought uh, it is better to walk at least half a kilometer and uh, then i can catch uh, the bus or any auto or something it is 3 uh, kilometers away from my uh, institute my home 3 kilometers away then i walked off a kilometer and then meantime what happened there is a lot heavy uh, rainfall 
and uh, with uh, strong bees uh, that is uh, storm like thing and even uh, to uh, stay uh, safely there is no shelter uh, uh, finally i went into uh, uh, bus shelter and stand there even though the breeze and the water uh, pouring on us with heavy flow uh, and coolness so i am unable to uh, i tried to observe my feelings but i am unable and i my uh, myself uh, went into the uh, thought process and i think uh, i should reach home or whatever it may be but even so many autos are stand there and uh, they are also struggling themselves and uh, there is no way to go uh, water is stagnated on the roads if the auto also try to move if i pay uh, whatever amount they ask then also it is not possible because stagnation water comes to up to our auto seat uh, up to that level so that situation uh, the, my thought process went in like this uh, even i have plenty of money in my pocket uh, thousands of rupees even then that is useless at that moment uh, for that struggle so i thought that uh, whatever we have uh, external uh, uh, this uh, situations sometimes uh, the sensations i got from my body the coolness and shivering and all those made me to uh, i went into the thought process only so i am thinking continuously that somehow i need to reach the home immediately so by walk after a little bit rain come down and i walk myself uh, the 3 kilometers and uh, went to home otherwise even i uh, sit on auto it is not possible hours together i need to wait and to reach the home because of uh, stagnation water and everything i observed the buses and autos uh, waiting uh, still hours together so that is the situation i went into <laughs> Uh, i feel uh, uh, my I, i am unable to observe my feelings even i tried a lot a very few uh, seconds uh, mil- microseconds i say i tried and uh, i could be able to the but uh, it is a highly impossible uh, the sensations and the situation outside uh, like that forced uh, me to enter into the thought process uh, what can i understand uh, the one very see if you see situations outside don't force us to think it is that we are already thinking it is just that when there is a situation outside that becomes the predominant thought in us and yeah, so but we our be... sensations through body but the condition our uh, uh, body situation and everything uh, made us to force uh, sometimes uh, what i think yeah you just observe this you know something is forcing when we do the the exercise with the body also we'll see this yeah but is something forcing us to think or it is just that i have put aside everything else and i am now thinking about this at that moment when your body is feeling the shivering or whatever the cold and all of that yeah. you are yeah. able to see that sensation yeah at that moment if you get a call from home regarding say one of your children or your spouse or somebody yeah with some condition you will immediately forget about all this and you will start thinking about that isn't yes. it yes sir that is also correct yeah so this thing is forcing you to think or you know whatever is important to us at that moment we pay attention to that at yeah. that moment perhaps you were you know feeling maybe unsure insecure you wanted to get home quickly so this is of most importance to you yes yeah. so this whole thing and perhaps a fear of what's going to happen if i am not able to get home or whatever it may be Yeah. that kind of feeling may be at the base and with that you are paying attention to this so right now that is on the surface so you are yeah. paying attention suddenly if something else comes up that you think is more important you will pay attention to that and forget about this yes. isn't it yes 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 but uh, but uh, uh, something uh, the thing is uh, coming to the agents or anything but the situation uh, is like that uh, then definitely Yeah, uh, I feel like you. 
if uh, as you said that if something is uh, some uh, emergency situation uh, a phone call or something then uh, of course uh, it is correct uh, but uh, nothing is there but only my mind uh, without thinking this uh, outside uh, uh, influence uh, i cannot uh, stay calm uh, i think uh, yeah so keep it open keep it yeah. open see what happens is that same thing when we are flowing with that oh my goodness what's happening things outside are like this and we may be having these kind of feelings that you know some fear yeah. some insecurity something like that with that we may be having the thoughts and we are when we are flowing with the thoughts certainly we get disturbed yes at that time also if we are able to observe this is what i am thinking now you will find that you are calm it yeah, is yeah. that uh, that i have uh, experienced today eh? because even though the situation but my mind has not got uh, disturbance but uh, my thought process went into that uh, how to reach uh, completely uh, instead of observing the feeling yeah that's what so yeah. you know from time to time when we are very involved with the thoughts we may not be observing but that's yeah, okay yeah. whenever we remember that we were to be observing we can start observing from there yeah yeah that yeah. is also there yeah right okay thank you thank you okay no more hands are raised i think we can go to the next lecture lecture 5 yeah so here we are going to talk a little bit more about the human being we mentioned this earlier that the self is central to human existence and the body is an instrument of the self so we'll talk a little more about this about how the self is central and the body is just a tool or an instrument so this again is uh, we've been through this many many times this slide i'm sure this is very familiar to all of you that the human being is a coexistence of self and body and these two realities the self which is a unit of consciousness and the body which is a material unit they are coexisting and we said three things in this slide one is that their needs are different they are fulfilled differently the needs of the self are for happiness it has to do with feelings and it is fulfilled by right understanding and right feeling and the needs of the body are for physical things or physiochemical things and they are fulfilled by physiochemical things so very different type of needs fulfilled differently then we also said about the activities that the self has activities in continuity and if you look at your imagination you will find that it is continuously going on some desire some thought some expectation is constantly there but if you look at the body you will find that you interact with the body only sometimes and the activities in the body are temporary they're not going on all the time and we also said about the response that in the body there is no choice the recognition and fulfillment is very definite it is fixed it is a certain way and the body doesn't have a choice to change it but when you look at the self the recognition and fulfillment in the self is molded or motivated by our assumptions these assumptions may be just assumptions that we got from outside may not be in line with understanding or we may assume or accept something based on right understanding or knowing and we will find that whenever the acceptances are based on knowing then there is possibility of definiteness of conduct for us but as long as the acceptances are just based on some assumption without knowing there is no guarantee of definiteness of conduct because each time the assumption changes the conduct 
also changes. Conduct changes means our recognition and fulfillment changes and therefore the expression of that in our behavior is evident. So this much we said about the self and the body. And I'm just going to go over uh, further because we've already been through this several times. So you have the self, a unit of consciousness, and you have the body, which is a material unit. And there is some transaction that keeps going on between the self and the body. Doesn't go on all the time. If you notice this, you know, you might be giving some instruction to the body. Like you give the instruction to the body, get up, walk. You, know, you wake up in the morning, the alarm goes off. You are wondering whether to get up or to sleep some more. All that is happening within you. You haven't decided. Shall I get up now? Shall I sleep some more? Is there time for me to sleep some more? Or do I have to get up right now? All that might be going on. And then once you decide, you give your body the instruction. Okay, time to get up. Get up now. So the body just follows. Isn't it? When it comes to this is about giving instruction to the body. When it comes to reading sensations from the body, you will find that there could be several sensations in the body. We read those sensations that we think are important at that time. So, if you have, say, in the body, when you wake up in the morning, since we were talking about waking up in the morning, you feel some pain somewhere maybe in the leg or the foot or something. So you notice that pain. And you may start thinking about that pain, that how did I get this pain? Did I hit my foot somewhere yesterday? How did it happen? Why is it paining? All those thoughts may be there. And then from there, you may have, you know, gotten distracted with some other thought that you met somebody yesterday and you may recall something that they had said. Now your imagination takes a different turn. Now you start thinking about that. Now where is the pain? The pain is still there or what we refer to as the pain. That sensation is still there. But I am not paying attention to it right now because I am busy thinking about something else. Have we noticed that? Does that happen? Does this happen sometimes that we are thinking about something else and therefore we don't notice some sensation in the body like pain? So this is very common. We can see that. Why is this? Because I am the one who is reading the sensation from the body. Sensation is there. It hasn't gone anywhere. It is still there. But I choose to read some sensation whenever I think it is important. Supposing when I first notice the pain, it's important for me. Oh, there is a pain in my foot. Why is my foot paining? And I'm thinking about it. And then the moment I realize that, oh, I had bumped my you know, foot yesterday while coming in at the door, that may be the reason. As soon as I, you know, this is taken care of, now I forget about the pain. Now it doesn't bother me. Supposing there is pain in the stomach and some friend or somebody told me yesterday, day before, that they had a stomach tumor when they had a stomach pain. Now suddenly this stomach pain becomes very important. Why am I having stomach pain? Maybe there is tumor inside me also. How will I find out? I need to do these tests. I need to go tomorrow to the lab. I need to do this. I need to do that. And then I recall that I ate something yesterday which seemed very heavy while eating. 
then I may sort of think, okay, that might be a reason. Now, I may stop thinking about it or if I am very insecure, if I have this fear that this might be something very serious I need to figure out, then I may still keep thinking about it and the next very next morning I may cancel all other works and go to the lab and get the test done. And I may keep thinking about it and once the test comes, the result comes that it's all okay. Then even though the pain is still there, it, I forget about it. I don't worry about it because now I feel it's okay. It must be something I ate and we'll see for a few days. You see, can you notice this? Is that also something that you think is likely? So you can see how the sensations may be there. Many sensations may be there in the body. But the self, based on whatever is important to it, it chooses to read a certain sensation. And whenever it thinks it is important, isn't it? And you'll also notice that this is only information. Nothing physical is getting passed from self to body or body to self. It's not like Pain is there, so some chemicals are getting passed into me. I am coexisting with the body. Many chemical changes are happening in the body. I give it a certain name. I call it pain. Right? Body doesn't feel the pain. Body has sensation. But I feel the pain. I read that sensation and therefore I feel the pain. When I don't read the sensation, I am not aware of the pain at all. Now where is the pain? Sensation is still there, but I don't feel the pain. So this is an information that the self is taking whenever it thinks it is important. So all this transaction that is happening between the self and the body is only information transaction. Nothing material is being transacted. Who is deciding for this transaction? Of course, it is me who is deciding because when I went, want to give instruction to the body, it is very clear. I give the instruction. The body has to do whatever instruction I give it. What about the sensation? So just now we were saying you are forced to think about something by the body. But think about it, reflect on it and see that the same situation, same sensation, but something else comes up that seems more important to me, I forget about this. Forget about this means I stop reading that sensation. So to me, it doesn't exist. Then when I recall it, again, I become aware of it. So many times it happens that somebody is sick and they are in the hospital and they are going on complaining and complaining and, you know, sort of crying with pain and all of that. And then some friend comes to visit and starts chatting about old times. And it's interesting and the person goes down the memory lane and starts thinking about the old times and then starts laughing with this person and sort of, you know, is taken up by old memories. Now what happened to the pain? Sensation is still there, but I may not be paying attention to it because something else is there which seems more important to me right now. So I, perhaps when that person goes away, then all this pain sensation, I'll become aware of it means I will start reading it again because now that person is gone, that what was important is over. Now I'm back to seeing the pain in the body. So you'll notice that 
for every transaction whether it be giving instruction to the body whether it be reading sensation from the body the decision is being made by the self sometimes this may not be very clear like we'll take up the example again of waking up in the morning so you may say you know many people say this i wanted to get up but the body was just not moving <laughs> what does that mean so if you notice what is actually happening you try this out and see i mean you can think about it and see whenever say you get up by an alarm or whatever so the alarm goes off it is an indicator to you that it is time to wake up but you assess the situation you think okay yesterday i slept late maybe i should allow myself another 15 20 minutes i'll sleep for some more time and then i'll wake up but it's all happening very quickly huh you turn off the alarm and all this is going on within you then you decide okay it's okay to sleep for some more time then after 20 minutes maybe you had put it on you know snooze or something so again it rings then again now you shut it and you think okay now better get up because otherwise it will get late for the rest of the day so now you decide to get up and you give the instruction to the body and the body gets up so is it really the body that is deciding or it is me so you'll notice that i am the one who is taking that decision so if there is any immediate question on this we'll take it otherwise we'll try to um do this observation for us for now maybe for 10 minutes and then we'll come back to your observations so what we are going to observe is that whenever there is some transaction between the self and the body you can observe it now you can see whether body is the one that is deciding or i am the one that is deciding who is deciding about the transaction whether it be instruction given to the body or whether it be reading sensation from the body so i'll mute myself here for 10 minutes yes so we have been observing for about 10 minutes now so we were talking about the transaction between the self and the body and how the self is the one that is deciding about the instructions to give and the sensations to read so were we able to see this in this short time that we were paying attention namaste didi namaste all namaste uh, we are observing uh, this uh, in the exercise uh, there was a question came to my mind that uh, if there is if any po- uh, situation possible when the body does not obey the instruction of the self or unable to obey the instruction of the self in mm-hmm. case of very old age yes mm-hmm. uh, mind wants something but body is not able to do it so in that situation so kindly give some light on that yeah so that is of course possible if i understand you know the nature of the body then i will understand that the body will age with time you know it will deteriorate so whatever i can do first of all to keep it in good shape that i will do and i will also follow that yes you know there is a problem in the body so some things the body may not be able to do like for instance you know we were talking about pain now say there is something like an arthritic pain the knee is swollen up and not possible you want to you know jump but you are 
the body cannot do that because i suppose the body could still do if you gave that instruction but you yourself will not give that instruction because you know that it will be painful or it may cause further damage yes. so there also you can see self is deciding that isn't it yes. self is deciding that okay this is something that the body can do this is something that the body can't do yes. problem comes when say this part of the body which is say the brain through which the sensations are being relayed now when the brain is not functioning now the brain is a part of the body right in old age you've heard of alzheimer's disease we've heard of you know so many problems like that where memory gets affected or they are you know, not able to recall things they are not uh, so many problems can be there in the brain because again this is a part of the body so there can be issues like you know uh, circulation becomes hampered say there is atherosclerosis with old age there is hardening of the arteries the blood circulation is not so proper so some parts of the brain are not getting that circulation now that part which was involved in sending the sensation i mean relaying that sensation to the parts of the body or taking that sensation from the various parts of the body and from where the self is reading it now if the problem is in the brain itself then the self will not be able to read that isn't it yes yes yeah so it uh, it is true that in those situations it is very much possible that you know self is keen to do many things but the body is unable to do mm. but that is uh, if if we understand the nature of the body then we can understand how that happens isn't it mm. the body's recognition and fulfillment is very definite so the body will go through that aging process it cannot decide otherwise isn't it yes so as the uh, aging process happens as the changes happen in the body the body doesn't have a choice to not do this or not go through the aging that aging will happen that recognition and fulfillment is definite as age advances the degenerative changes in the body become more and more the generation or the new tissue formation becomes less and less this is all part of the the way it is so that is part of the self organization of the body so this recognition and fulfillment is definite this cannot change important is if the self understands or has assumed something isn't it so if i assume that the body is fine and i give it you know a wrong kind of instruction then it will be damaging for the body why go to the extreme examples if we just take you know junk food hmm so if i assume that this food is coming from say it is a burger and french fries or something like that if i assume that this is coming from a big shop it should be fine for the body now this is an assumption that is not true isn't it mm. and i instruct the body to eat it the body will eat it doesn't have a choice even though it is going to harm the body even though it will be damaging for the body so there you can see that the body doesn't have a choice in the matter even if it is harmful for the body but the self you know all the difference that comes about is does the self have an assumption that is based on knowing or it is just 
without knowing that makes all the difference mm. yeah. isn't it okay thank you so today we'll reflect on this um i'll put it on the group also try to observe the transaction that keeps happening between the self and the body at various times during the day and we'll take your observations tomorrow